India did not suddenly become an illiberal country. Pardon me for saying this. Indian society has been illiberal for centuries. That is inherent in the structure of Indian society. It's structured around what is called Varna, a four-tier arrangement that encompassed the majority but excluded a large number of people from that arrangement. The inequality that was built in that arrangement can never go away. If I'm born into that arrangement, I can't change that inequality. It stays with me throughout my life and in the case of most people, it decides what they will do, what they will have, and what they will be. Within the arrangement, there were rules in respect of women, marriage, food, clothing, worship, observance of rituals, and so on. If you violate the rules, it was followed by swift punishment, which is usually expulsion. The most powerful challenge to this arrangement was the Constitution of India and the birth of a secular, democratic, and liberal republic, which is what we gave unto ourselves in that document. Thanks to the advancement of adult suffrage, education, industrialization, urbanization, and communication, the arrangement has been eroded. I will not say the arrangement has begun to crumble, but the arrangement is being eroded. What is a profound concern to me is a rise or the apparent rise of intolerance. Carp panchayats today are more visible and more brazen in dispensing kangaroo justice. There is a rash of bans. Ban jeans, ban books, ban food, ban authors, ban artists, ban travel, ban NGOs. Eminent scholars and academics have been ousted from institutions or killed. Ministers, MPs, MLAs, cutting across parties, speak the language of divisiveness and hate. <coughs> the rising tide of illiberalism and intolerance is frightening. The illiberal zealots believe that the state is on their side. They also believe that if they gather sufficient numbers, they will be the state and their word will be the law. Moral majoritarianism will fail, but each one of us who believes in democracy and liberalism must speak up and ensure that moral majoritarianism fails comprehensively.